Oh, hey guys. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, action. Uh, I'm Seth Ford. Did I just say we were going to school, Seth? I thought we were going to get like, I'm Seth Ford. I'm Connor Boss. We're from Tulsa. I will. I'm Seth Ford. Um, I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I'm a sophomore at Oklahoma University. How old are you? And I'm 19 years old. I'm Connor Poss. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I'm a sophomore at Oklahoma State University, and I'm also 19 years old. We're serving here in Uti, India, at the ranch where the Mossad stay. We help out with the horse therapy program um, Saturdays, and we've been doing projects, uh, building the shed, and other projects around the ranch. Um, it's been really fun. Enjoyed it these last two months. Oh, well, the story started um, in January when we went to the Passion Conference, uh, where we heard about the issue of human trafficking and sex slavery um, specifically, um, and it was really mind-boggling for both of us to realize that um, at least two million people are in sex slavery and more in just forced human trafficking around the world, and it really um, tore us up. Um, and God really challenged us uh, to do something about it and not just uh, pray about it or just give to something, but to actually move into action. And so that's what we decided to do. And so on the car ride home, we decided that we'd be accountable to action, that we would you know, keep each other accountable to do something, not just talk about it or you know, hand out a bracelet to actually do something about it, to move into action. And so as soon as we got home, we started Googling and just emailing every organization we could find. And it was kind of tough at first because we don't have, you know, a degree and we're not women, we're not social workers, we don't have a lot to offer, so we just kind of look for whatever we could get. It's really cool um, because a lot of people, like, when, about what he said is how we found out about it was Google. Um, and a lot of people, like, asked that, you know, how'd you find out about it? And that's all it was, was Google. Um, we just looked up anti-human trafficking organizations and Freedom Firm popped up on the first page. You know, they have stuff to be done this summer, uh, projects that can help out the leg up, uh, specifically within Freedom Firm, which helps out with the restoration, and how we could play a part in it. Um, it's been cool. We. Uh, and what exactly is leg up? Leg up is the horse therapy program here in Freedom Firm. These girls uh, in the program, in the leg up program, they help uh, just get the kids on the horses, ride them around the arena, uh, blow bubbles with them, catch balls, and it basically is just a way for them to give back to the community as a part of growing um, to learn to growing into life again, learning to to live and love life. And so it's really cool right, how it's been a, to play a part in that part so far. There's a specific kid, Rahul, who had the most joyful spirit I've seen um, from any kid. He loved getting on Shadow over here and just riding him until we were sore from running and practically carrying him and he was sore from laughing so hard. Uh, last this last Saturday, just a few days back, Rahul fell almost off the horse just because he was laughing so hard and we were laughing with him. Um, it's really cool um, just seeing how much joy this kid has uh, just coming out here and being with the horses and going fast when he can't walk on his own um, and being able to get on a horse and ride and canter around an arena. Um, with people holding him up as we're laughing. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, same same kid. He's a pretty big dude, and we had to carry him up and down the driveway. And that was just like something I really can almost like cherish, just getting the honor and the chance just to serve him. And just, though he doesn't have legs, you know, he gets to go up and down the mountain and on the horse and ride the horse. And so that was just a really cool experience, getting him to help him with that. So you've done that. Um, are there any more glamorous tasks, like taking care of the horses? Yeah, we get to scoop all their poop and clean up <laughs> after the dogs and, you know, spread lime all over their urine, so that's been good too. Yep, it's, it's definitely the glamorous part of it all. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us more about your interactions with the girls of Freedom Firm in particular? Because um, they, they haven't necessarily had a lot of great male interaction. Yeah. So... Um, so when we came in here, when we came to Freedom Firm, we were the first young men volunteers that Freedom Firm has had uh, ever, as far as we know. And so the way we played a part in it is we came to be, to be friendly, to be uh, brotherly, just to show brotherly affection, um, and nothing more than that. Um, and so the girls have learned 
And it was really, really cool um, how God um, just totally worked through all of it, how we've been able to have a brotherly, sisterly relationship with all the girls in the program who've come out of sex slavery. And as far as like this, a girl specifically, her name was Mangla, she said uh, it, was, it was neat because she's never had a brother before um, to give her a high five or to help her clean a horse, uh, groom a horse or stuff like that. And it was really touching um, to see that we got to play a part of being a brother uh, to these girls. Um, and, not, and she was just one of five and we got to really play a part with all of them. And it was really neat because uh, it's necessary for girls to uh, that come out of this to have healthy relationships with men, not seeking to have any romance or, at all, but just a brotherly, uh, a brotherly relationship. And it was really cool and uh, really awesome how we got to play a part in that. We traveled a long way to be able to do that, so it was really great that we accomplished it. We, we didn't care what we were doing. We didn't care if we were going to shovel poop or dig holes or whatever. We just wanted to do anything to help. And I think that's the attitude that you have to come with is that you'll, you know, you'll shovel poop, you'll dig holes, you'll put up fencing, whatever. You have to have the attitude of just servitude, you know. And it's cool because we thought, um, you know, when we first came here, we didn't think we were actually going to develop a relationship with these girls and didn't know it was going to happen. And it was cool that it happened um, in a very healthy, brotherly way because we both benefited, benefited from it, the girls and us. Um, and God has taught us a lot through that and through them as well. And so it was neat. Would you recommend leg up to other people? Yes, we would absolutely recommend um, young men specifically to come and help leg up and freedom for him because it is very important, we believe, um, as God has taught us to have a brotherly relationship with girls our own age who have come out of sex trafficking. And definitely we're going to send our friends over next summer and the summer after if we don't come ourselves um, just because we've got a lot of friends that have the same passion to love God and be obedient to Him in all areas of serving. And we want uh, people to experience leg up, horse therapy, freedom from, being with Rahul, high-fiving uh, girls that have come out of this and loving, loving them in a very healthy and brotherly way. For sure. Uh, I think, you know, when we first got here, we were kind of surprised that there's not any, you know, young male volunteers. We're kind of leaving it up to the girls, and that's kind of embarrassing for guys. You know, it's kind of a problem that, that we've made, and we're leaving it up to our sisters in Christ to fix it. So I think it's time for us to kind of step up. Come Cutting to Southern in India. Come help <laughs> out. See you at Freedom Firm. All right, Leg up. My lady. All right. Well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> my lady. Okay. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs>